So today, Dr. Mike, we're going to chat about fleas, ticks and other biting insects. It's a really important topic, especially for guys like Peppy and Perry here. So why do birds get fleas and we don't? Yeah, thankfully, fleas are host-specific parasites, so they really want to be on dogs and cats. Thankfully, they don't want to be on us. However, if they build up in large enough numbers, or if there's no pets around, they can actually jump on you, so, oh. so watch out. And are fleas just a nuisance or are they actually dangerous? The major thing that fleas cause is irritation. And so you'll see that with dogs that are scratching themselves, biting at themselves, licking at their paws, and it can cause all sorts of dermatitis, hair loss and damage to the skin. But there are other things that can cause. Fleas are actually blood suckers, so in, especially in young animals, they can cause anemia, that's blood loss. There's one specific one called the paralysis tick. It's mostly in Eastern Australia, and once they attach to your dog, even one tick can cause the death of your dog within about 48 hours through paralysis. So every tick needs to be taken seriously. If you find ticks on your dog or cat, probably the best thing to do is just get some advice from your local vet straight away. Why are fleas so hard to control? When you think about fleas, you've got to think they're like Olympic competitors as far <laughs> as breeding goes. You know, they lay hundreds, sometimes thousands of eggs. The eggs yeah. are very, very hard to kill and basically very soon a small problem can develop into a big problem. They breed really quickly, especially in hot and humid weather, so they can be really tough to control. So what would work to treat a flea? So you really, you probably need to use a good quality product. Something that's going to be recommended by your vet. Find out whether you've got fleas and ticks in your area and they'll be able to recommend the best product to use. You'll need to weigh your dog or cat to make sure the dose is right and then stick to the program that they recommend. So Jake and Olivia, what's I show you how to treat these guys right now? Okay. okay. Can you grab me that Exotic? Lots of different products you can use. The one I particularly like is Exotic because it's useful on both fleas and ticks. Safe and very, very convenient so you can use it in puppies, you can even use it in pregnant dogs but you can't use it in cats. Very good for dogs though. So Olivia, the way that we use this is we actually part the hair, thanks for that, at the back of the neck and we apply it between the shoulder blades. The reason we do that is just so that uh, the dogs can't lick where, the, where we've done the treatment. So it's safe, it gets absorbed through the skin, circulates through the body and controls both fleas and ticks. Okay. After doing a treatment like this, always go and wash your hands. Completely safe for use on dogs, but we need to wash our hands after treatment. Wow, that looks really easy to use. Yeah, I don't think Perry minded that at all. No. Yeah. When will Perry next be treated? You have to follow the instructions on this one. Exotic will control fleas for four weeks, but in paralysis tick time of the season, it needs to be done every two weeks. So oh, okay. listen to the advice from your vet, follow the instructions. All right. Great. Thanks, Mike. That's a pleasure.